principal of Esau Meadow High School and welcome to the 2015 Student Achievement Night. Before we begin tonight's presentation, I would like to acknowledge the lovely sounds of our students, Madeline Austin and Jake Ryan, who played the introduction for us tonight. So thank you. <laughs> Second to graduation, this is the most prestigious, proud, and exciting event at Esau Meadow High School. Tonight, we honor more than 100 students for their excellence in the areas of academia, community service, leadership, sportsmanship, and commitment to learning and our school. We are extremely grateful to the individuals and organizations who have shown a commitment to our students and their efforts by bestowing them over $100,000 in awards and scholarships. We must, uh, yes, that's very impressive. <laughs> We must also acknowledge our parents, our teachers, our community members, and family and friends of these students, for it is your influence and support that help mold these students into the exemplary students that they are. And to the recipients of tonight's award, on behalf of the staff and administration, we congratulate you for a job well done. You are the reason that Esau Meadow High School is such a well-respected community of learning. We are all very proud of you. So for all of our recipients, can we give them a big hand? <laughs> We're going to begin by announcing our presenters. We will be announcing the presenters all at once. I will give their introduction and ask that you reserve your applause until we've completed all the introductions. Mr. Frank Page, Assistant Principal. Mr. Robert Marhefka, Assistant Principal. Mr. Daniel Maurer, Athletic Director. Ms. Linda Abel, English Teacher Department Chair. Ms. Marilyn Burke, Social Studies Teacher and Key Club Advisor. Mr. Sonny Serencion, English Teacher and National Honor Society Advisor. Ms. Catherine Daly, Science Teacher, Senior Class Advisor. Ms. Amanda DiNardo, Guidance Counselor and Director of Guidance. Mr. Jeffrey Dunn, Social Studies Teacher and Student Council Advisor. Ms. Jennifer Faulkner, Foreign Language Teacher and GSA Advisor. Mr. Anthony Feminari, Science Teacher and Department Chair. Mr. Brian Freeman, Mathematics Teacher. Ms. Denise Gothier, Family Consumer Science Teacher. Mr. Iliel Gonzalez, Mathematic Teacher, Math Team Advisor and Math Department Chair. Mr. Mark Green, Tech Ed Teacher. Ms. Terry Hellier, Secretary. Ms. Margaret Huba, English Teacher and Drama Club Advisor. Mr. James Kiernan, Fine Arts Teacher, Band Director and Department Chair. Mr. Mark Maccarini, Career Specialist. Mr. Glenn Maller, Social Studies Teacher and Department Chair. Mr. John Martin, Guidance Counselor. Ms. Mary Jane McMahon, Family Consumer Science Teacher. Ms. Chris Nordern, Health Teacher, Senior Class Advisor. Ms. Don Korsha, Business Teacher, Business Club Advisor. And Dr. Joanne Welch, Director of Student Services. The people just announced comprise, comprise school officials and the next presenters represent the Business Community, Higher Education, and Memorial Foundation. Mr. Charles Gray, Esau Meadow Library Trustee. Mr. Arthur McGuire, Esau Mary Library Trustee Chair. Susan Peterson, Esau Meadow Library Director. Ms. Adele Hill, President of the Rotary Club. Mr. Dave Carlson, Rotary Club. Mr. Daniel Burak, Rotary Club. Ms. Susan Grimaldi, Rotary Club. Ms. Joan Lenahan, Rotary Club. Ms. Sarah Mazzaferro, Chamber of Commerce. Mr. Ryan Stebbins, Chamber, Bruce Stebbins, Chamber of Commerce. Mr. Christopher Buendo, Unico Club. Dr. Leo Hood, Unico Club. Mr. Donald Millette, Unico Club. Mr. Carl Perella, Unico Club. Mr. Lance Ulrich, Grand Knights, Knights of Columbus, number 4306. Mr. Glenn Curtis, Class of 1964, 50th Reunion Scholarship. Ms. Sue Lamondia, the Tony, Mar excuse me, Tony Markowski Book Award. Mr. Tony Markowski. Ms. Tony Markowski Book Award, Ms. Rose Stella. Mr. Albert Bushy, the American Legion. 
Mr. Russell Rennell, Chaplain of the American Legion. Mr. Thomas Florence, Town Clerk, Past Boys State Attendee. Ms. Jennifer Merton, St. Mount Holyoke College. Mr. Christopher Allen, St. Michael's College. Ms. Mary Catherine Patrone, Gordon S. Bradley Memorial Scholarship. Mrs. Gordon Bradley, Gordon S. Bradley Memorial Scholarship. The Camberlin Flynn family for Alex Camberlin Memorial Scholarship. The Skiffington family from the Brianna Donovan Memorial Scholarship. Miss Judy Driscoll Bates, Helen and Helen, Helen Johnson Scholarship. Miss Michaeline Kelly and family, the Brant Kelly Memorial Scholarship. The Sunter family for the Brian Sunter Memorial Scholarship. Miss Ray Davies and members, Esau Meadow Garden Club. Miss Celeste O'Brien from the Esau Meadow Scholarship Foundation. Mr. Mike Murray, Esau Meadow Scholarship Foundation. Mr. Tom Serrato, Kelly Fredette Scholarship. Mr. Peter Miller, EsauMeadowsSports.com Scholarship. Please give all of our teachers and community members a round of applause. At this time, I would like to acknowledge some special members in our audience. Ms. Mary Lou Donahue, who is present, who's here for the Mary Lou Donahue Scholarship. She's retired nursing supervisor. <laughs> Mr. Gordon Smith, superintendent of schools. <laughs> and now our Esau Meadows School Committee, Mr. F Richard Fichero, chair. Mr. Mr. Bill Vonseca, Vice Chair. And Ms. Beth Marcian Boucher. Representing the Esau Meadow Board of Select Selectmen, we have Mr. William Gorman. Also re representing the Esau Meadow Board of Selectmen, Ms. Angela Thorpe. We are now going to be in our presentation, and we ask that each recipient, when you hear your name, please come forward to receive the award and then take a seat upon the stage. The first award for tonight is the 2015 National Merit Scholarship Program Certificate of Merit. It is awarded to students who have advanced to finalist standing in the National Merit Scholarship Program of 2014 by dis 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 sorry, demonstrating through distinguished performance high potential for future academic accomplishment. This year's recipient has been selected as a winner of a National Merit Scholarship of $2,500, and that student is Arnab Sarkar. The next award is the Massachusetts Secondary School Administrators Association Award. This Student Achievement Award is presented to a graduating senior by the MSSA Professional Services Committee. It's typically the principal's award for improvement and achievement. This year's honoree is Kamari Eddington. Good evening. I have the privilege this evening to present a certificate of academic excellence from the Massachusetts Association of School Superintendents. And this is awarded to a student who has qualified under the standards prescribed by the Massachusetts Association of School Superintendents. And our winner this year is Arnab Sarkar. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's my pleasure to present the Bay Path College Book Award, donated by the Alumni Association to a junior girl 
for her academic accomplishments and school citizenship. This year's recipient, Grace M. Arnst. Good evening. The Dartmouth College Book Award, donated by the Dartmouth Alumni Club of Pioneer Valley to the junior who best combines the qualities that distinguish his or her in, student, in studies, sports, and spirit. The recipient, Abigail W. Laughlin. In the Elms College Book Award, donated by Elms College to a junior whose personal values and aspirations most closely align with the mission of Elms College, to educate students who have distinguished themselves inside and outside of the classroom. This year's recipient, Jacob R. Melanchik. So it is so nice for me to be back at East Long Meadow High School, and I am pleased to see so many familiar faces this evening. As always, I am proud of all the students who are receiving recognition tonight, and I am honored to participate in this event. Thank you. The Mount Holyoke College Science Award is given to a junior girl in the top 5% of her class who has exhibited academic promise and aptitude in science and whose scholarship, leadership, and community and extracurricular involvement has shown a commitment to excellence and a willingness to accept challenges and risks. This year's recipient of the Mount Holyoke Book Award is Elena R. Tilly. The St. Michael's College Book Award is awarded to juniors who have demonstrated a sustained and, sin and sincere commitment to community service within the local community and has taken on a leadership role. The students must also be an inductee of the National Honor Society. This year's recipients are Madeline M. Austin and Jacob R. Bausch. Smith College Book Award, donated by the Springfield Smith College Club to a junior girl with the ability to combine academic achievement and community participation. This year's recipient is Allison V. Phillips. The Springfield College Book Award is donated by Springfield College to a junior whose personal values and aspirations <clears throat> most closely align with the mission of Springfield College to educate students in spirit, mind, and body for leadership and service to humanity and has demonstrated an exemplary record of service to their high school community and the community at large. This year's recipient is Daniel P. Miller. Wellesley College Book Award, 
donated by the Springfield Wellesley Club to the female student whose academic record and character are exceptional and was also made significant personal contributions to her school and or community. This year's recipient, Maria M. Boucher. Next, we have the Williams College Book Award. This award is given to a junior in the top 5% of his or her class who has demonstrated, demonstrated intellectual leadership and has made a significant contribution to the extracurricular life of our school. This year's recipient, Alexandra M. Estanislau. Good evening. The Yale University Book Award is awarded to a junior who has achieved distinction in both academic and extracurricular activities. This year's recipient is Mr. Jacob T. Wilson. I'm Charlie Gray. I'm the vice chair of the East Long Meadow Board of Library Trustees, and I'm representing our chair, Art McGuire, and our uh, library director, Susan Peterson. This year, I'd like to thank also our trustees, because this is a trustees book award. Uh, Ginny Robbins, David Bouchard, and Diane Tiago uh, have also played a big part in the award. The last group I need to thank before we make the final award are the people who have served on this uh, committee. And this isn't an award that is str strictly focused on the public library, it's also focused on the East Long Meadow High School Library. Uh, and as such, the members from the uh, members of our committee, selection committee, from the East Long Meadow Library are uh, the East Long Meadow Librarian Daniel, East Long Meadow High School Librarian Daniel Myers and from the guidance department, you've already met her, Amanda Donardo, and from the East Long Meadow Public Library, our uh, library director, Susan Peterson, and our assistant library director, Susan Bellanoy. The award is presented to that member of the junior class who has demonstrated a sustained interest in libraries and reading throughout the year, and I might add, uh, made uh, significant personal contributions to libraries in general. This year's award, uh, this person has particularly been interested and involved in the East Long Meadow High School Library, and I think that's terrific. Uh, please uh, uh, join me in congratulating this year's recipient, Madeline S. Shields. Okay, uh, the next award that we're going to present is the President's Award for Educational Ex Excellence. This is awarded to seniors who have in academic coursework after seven semesters earned a 3.5 grade point average on a 4.0 system. Uh, we have quite a few recipients this evening, so we would, we would kindly ask that you hold your applause until the very end. Thank you. Jonathan A. Afonso. Kara M. Balboni, Catherine M. Bonavita, Megan C. Byrne, Giacomo A. Cabrera, John P. Dalton, Julia M. Decker, Taya L. Dempsey, Matthew T. Donovan. I 
I've got to keep Miss Donardo from getting upset with me, so. Where'd I leave off? Juliana E. Fazio. Alexandra L. Fern. Matthew J. Frederick. Noah M. Gonzalez. Andrew J. Grandalski. Benjamin P. Gilmet. Michael W. Hampton. Nicholas C. Hansman. Connor W. Heath. Joshua A. Heropolis. Alec C. Hillis. Michael W. Holman. Caitlin E. Johnson. Mahek Conjolia. Andrew A. Katz. Taya L. Kenny. It's up to you guys, but if you'd rather not stand there and be stared at, you certainly can go up on stage. <laughs> I mean, I know we're trying to be formal here, but it's okay to laugh a little bit and we can... <laughs> I want everybody to remember, these are our highest academic students. Shannon N. Kennedy, Christopher T. Cage, Sarah E. LaRoe, Stephanie K. Makarowski, Tyler L. Maloney, Marielle J. McLaughlin, Chelsea C. McManus. Stephanie E. McSweeney. Alexa H. Mellis. Jack D. Moynihan. Catherine J. Novak. Wesley T. Olin. Matthew T. Paul. Alyssa M. Piogia. Lauren E. Porth. Isaac R. Piz. Charlotte R. Ross. Arnab K. Sarker. Alyssa J. Shepard. Mora F. Simons. Jessica L. Slater. Brett S. Smith. Julia K. Stone. Paige A. Seuss. Connor D. Thompson Hebert. Jose F. Varela. Annalise Wilkins. Julia B. Wood. And last but certainly not least, Amy M. Zubanko.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sonny Serencion, and I'm the advisor for the National Honor Society. I'm here tonight to induct seven new members to this prestigious society that boasts some of the top students in the community. To the new inductees, congratulations, and I look forward to working with you all. When I call your name, please come and accept your certificate. First. Julia G. Adamo. <laughs> Joanna M. Del Vicio. Michael J. Magipinto, Jr. <laughs> Jacob R. Melanchuk. Daniel P. Miller. <laughs> Connor D. Thompson Haber. and Brendan M. Zura. Good evening. My name's Russell Rennell, and my accompanying people here have Mr. Al Bushy. We're both from the post-293 American Legion, and Mr. Thomas, uh, <laughs> yeah, Mr. Thomas Florence. He's our treasurer from East Long Meadow here. Tonight, we're very happy to be back here again to make these awards. But to be awarded by the Gunther Raleigh Post 293, American Legion and East Long Meadow, Long Meadow Chamber of Commerce, two junior boys who are outstanding in the following. Leadership, citizenship, scholarship, and their upper thir one third of the class, courage, honesty and character. These boys will be attending, attending uh, Stonehill College in Northeastern for a week in June. The recipients are Elijah P. Kessler, <laughs> Matthew R. Turnberg, Yeah. 
Now, Massachusetts American Legion Post 293, Girl State, awarded by the Gunther Raleigh Post 293, American Legion, and East Longmeadow, Longmeadow Chambers of Commerce, to two junior girls who are outstanding in the following. Leadership, citizenship, scholarship, they're the upper one third of their class, courage, honesty, and character. These girls will be attending Stonehill College in Northeastern for a week in June. The recipients are Alexis N. Oliver, And Alina R. Tilly. Congratulations to all. The Alpha Chapter Award is awarded to a senior wo young woman who is interested in becoming a teacher. This year's recipient is Ms. Alexa H. Mellis. Good evening. My name is Sarah Mazzaferro and I'm representing the East of the River Five Town Chamber of Commerce. The Chamber of Commerce gives these scholarships as we recognize that the young people of this community and the surrounding communities that we serve are the future leaders and business owners. So thank you for allowing me to be here. The following scholarships are awarded to students who utilize the Career Center to explore career options before going on to college through a shadow or job externship. The East Longmeadow Longmeadow Scholarship Fund in memory of Cheryl we Reed Wallace in the amount of $1,000, and the recipient is Catherine M. Bonavita. The East Longmeadow Longmeadow Scholarship Fund in memory of Cheryl Reed Wallace in the amount of $500, and the recipient is Brianna N. DeRico. We have two scholarship recipients for the East of the River Five Town Chamber of Commerce Scholarship and the amount of $1,000 each. The first recipient is Olivia A. Kalaskola. <laughs> And the second recipient is Nicholas W. Turnberg. Good evening. Uh, these next three scholarships are in memory of my grandfather and my parents. Uh, and they're for students, seniors who have utilized the Career Center services to explore careers before going on to college, and including, in my mom's benefit, uh, becoming a public school teacher. Uh, the recipients are Alicia D. Burnett, Douglas C. McSweeney, and Nija J. Santiago Arellas.
Good evening. On behalf of uh, Chairman Paul Federici, William Gorman, and myself, Angela Thorpe, we, the Board of Selectmen, want to congratulate all the recipients and thank them for providing yet another facet to our town's diamond. We also want to say a special thank you to uh, Ms. Terry Helliard for another wonderful smooth running event. Today, the Board of Selectmen, along with Republic Services, are pleased to announce that we are giving five Selectmen scholarships for $300 each and one grand Selectmen scholarship to individuals who have shown a commitment to recycling and community service. Each of these students have demonstrated these qualities in their school and local communities. All Selectmen Scholarship recipients are invited by Republic Services on the Board of Selectmen to a presentation and a photo opportunity on Tuesday, June 16th at 6 p.m. at Town Hall. The 2015 Selectmen Scholarship, when um, Selectmen Scholarships for $300 are awarded to Isabella M. Kakola Nakis. <laughs> I apologize. Elizabeth. Sage S. King. <laughs> Leah A. Sheets. <laughs> Nicholas W. Turnberg. and Julia B. Wood. Some of you may have to exchange some of your awards up there. Huh. <laughs> yeah, we'll just, they'll exchange up there. I love the weather, but the allergies are killing me. The 2015 Selectman Scholarship for $1,000 is awarded to Arnab K. Sarkiner. Congratulations to all the recipients. Before we start, I just want to turn around and say, sorry for our backsides, because that's the view you're going to get right now. <laughs> um, we're here from the East Long Meadow Memor Rotary Memorial Scholarship Foundation, which I call ELSMURF to make it a little bit easier. The Scholarship Foundation is now cele celebrating its 28th year in providing scholarships to students who um, have, have demonstrated scholastic excellence. Since its inception, over $300,000 has come from these scholarships. Additionally, for the East Long Meadow Rotary Club, since 1993, which is 22 years ago, the club has actually awarded over $35,000 in scholarships. For our first few scholarships, uh, Mr. David Carlson, who is the East Long Meadow Rotary Memorial Scholarship Foundation president, will be presenting. Our first scholarship goes to Arnab K. Sarker, and it's the Earl McDonald Memorial Scholarship for $3,000. Our next scholarship is for John P. Dalton, and that is the James Davis Memorial Scholarship for $2,000. Next is the second James Davis Memorial Scholarship for $2,000 to Andrew A. Katz. The next two scholarships will be presented by Mr. Daniel Burek. 
The first is the Douglas Burek Memorial Scholarship for $2,000 that is going to Julia K. Stone. Our next recipient is Julia M. Decker for the Jean Ferrand Spirak Memorial Scholarship for $2,000. We're going to bring Mr. Carlson back. The first is for Matthew T. Donovan for the East Long Meadow Rotary Memorial Scholarship Foundation Scholarship for $1,000. Our next recipient, Mariel J. McLaughlin for the East Long Meadow Rotary Memorial Scholarship Foundation Scholarship, $1,000. Our next scholarship was originally meant specifically for someone going into the entertainment field. However, this year we didn't have any applications. So the club had a big board meeting on this and decided that we would still give the scholarship but to a deserving student who met academics in several areas. So for Benjamin P. Gilmet, the East Long Meadow Rotary Club Willie Ferraro Memorial Scholarship of $1,000. Our next presenter is Mrs. Joan Linehan, and this is for the Michael Linehan Memorial Scholarship for $1,000 to Sarah E. LaRue. And just for those scholarship recipients, the checks behind the certificate. So if you flip the certificate forward, your check is in there already. Uh, I'm sorry, for your, your parents, it's more important for. <laughs> Our next scholarships are the Rotary, East Long Meadow Rotary Youth Leadership Awards. The RILA program provides selected sophomore students with effective training experience to emphasize their leadership skills, citizen, citizenship, and personal growth. These students will be going to the RILA event at Springfield College on June 13th. Recipients are Lindsay P. Manning, <laughs> Jillian M. O'Toole, Jasmine N. Sabadosa. Andrea N. Singh. And Jessica H. Wang. Congratulations to all. Everyone have a good evening. Since 1958, the Hugh O'Brien Youth Foundation has been holding leadership seminars for 10th graders throughout the United States. These seminars held regionally at various colleges bring young people together to develop leadership potential, to encourage and assist students in their quest for self-development and self-identification, 
to introduce potential leaders to today's leaders through informal seminars, to provide exposure to opportunity to explore America's incentive system and the democratic process. This year's student ambassador is Adiemi K. Thomas. Hi, I'm Glenn Curtis from the class of 1964. I was just sitting there and musing about how it was almost 51 years since my classmates and I passed across this stage and received our diplomas. Uh, the class did celebrate its 50th reunion last October, and at that reunion we discovered a very strong sentiment of gratitude and recognition for the very positive and solid foundation that we all had received at East Long Meadow High School during our four years. Uh, class of 64, incidentally, was the first class to go through four full years from ninth grade through 12th grade. Uh, in recognition of that and our gratitude, uh, tonight we are presenting the first East Long Meadow High School 50th reunion scholarship award to a deserving student in the graduating class of 2015. So it's my great honor and pleasure to present that award in the amount of $3,000 to Caitlin Johnson. Gordon S. Bradley Memorial Scholarship. Sorry. The scholarship is awarded in memory of Mr. Gordon S. Bradley. The recipient is Michael W. Holman. I'm honored to present the Alex Camerlin Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship in memory of Alex Camerlin, class of 2008, is awarded to a deserving ELHS student planning to pursue Alex's dream of video production. This year's recipient, Isabella M. Kokoyanakis. Good evening and congratulations to all of the recipients. I am very pleased and honored to present uh, this scholarship to uh, for the Mary Lou Donahue uh, Memorial, uh, not Memorial, she's sitting right next to me, sorry. The Mary <laughs> Honorary <laughs> Scholarship uh, to a worthy student who is entering a Bachelor of Science program in nursing. Mrs. Mary Lou Donahue was a school nurse and nurse leader in East Long Meadow for over 26 years. And I am very pleased to present this year's award to Kara M. Balboni.
Good evening. Each year, the Brianna Christine Donovan Scholarship is given to a senior who plans on continuing their education. This student is chosen based on their character, attitude towards others, and appreciation for life. This year, I am especially honored to be presenting this scholarship in memory of our daughter, Brianna, to someone who we know embodies all of these qualities and also understands the importance of persevering through the difficulties life sometimes brings. It is our honor and pleasure to present this year's award to Mr. Thomas Cronin. Good evening. It's my pleasure tonight to present the Richard L. Frachero Scholarship. This $500 scholarship donated by Justins in honor of Mr. Frachero, retired 23-year principal of East Long Meadow High School, is awarded to a graduating student who embodies the values and mission of the school. The award is given to a student who is school council, school committee representative, and has displayed leadership skills and a commitment to the high school. It's my pleasure to announce the recipient, Jack D. Moynihan. Good evening. It's my honor to be here tonight to present four scholarships in memory of a dear friend of mine, Henry and Helen Johnson. Uh, this year's recipients, and also my former kindergartners, Christopher Casella. Katie O'Reilly. <laughs> Brianna Dorico. And Nick Shea. Good evening. I also would like to take a moment to thank Mrs. Hellyer for the excellent job that she does every single year. This scholarship program runs like clockwork. <laughs> Tonight, we're here to celebrate and to participate in the scholarship program in memory of my son, Brant Kelly. Brant was a 96 graduate from East Long Meadow High School. And he was very fortunate enough to have played football for the Spartan team. He was, again, fortunate enough to play in the Super Bowl both his junior and senior year. It was always very easy for me to identify my son Brant on the field because he had the dirtiest uniform. Had nothing to do with my washing machine. It was that he exhibited this extraordinary spirit. And with, 
And this evening, I would like to continue with that Spartan spirit and celebrate, <laughs> Mr. Maurer remembers those days, <laughs> the, <laughs> the uniform, to celebrate our recipient of the Brant Kelly 2015 Memorial Scholarship, Nick Shea. Good evening. David Martin was a teacher and a coach here at East Longmeadow High School for 25 years. And this award is presented to two seniors in his memory who exhibited sportsmanship, academic excellence, and relevant life skills. I would like to congratulate Julia Decker and Nick Shea. Our next scholarship is a memory of Susan Rawls, an East Long Meadow High School math teacher, uh, who in this award is given to seniors for both commitment and dedication to the learning of math. I'm pleased to present this award to Matthew Frederick and Stephanie Makarowski. The Ryan Rothweiler Memorial Soccer Scholarship is a memory of Ryan Rothweiler and is awarded to a student who, by his words and actions, is recognized as a true natural born leader by his fellow students as well as by the ELHS faculty and staff. This person leads with quiet confidence and sincere kindness, which are characteristics that Ryan possessed throughout his lifetime. This year's recipient is Robert A. Butcher. Next award is the Ralph Schindler Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is in memory of Ralph L. Schindler, East Long Meadow High School principal from 1964 to 1979. It is awarded to a graduating senior planning to enter a technical trade program or a community college immediately following graduation. This year's recipient is Alicia D. Burnett. Hello everybody, I'm Robin Sunter and this is my husband Ed. And we're here to present the Brian Sunter Memorial Scholarship in honor of our son Brian who died earlier this year. The Brian Sunter Memorial Scholarship is awarded to cross country team members with consideration for the candidate's commitment and dedication to the cross country team experience, their leadership abilities, dedication, dependability, and love of the sport. This year, because of all of the support that we got for our um, now annual golf tournament and dinner, we're able to present three $1,500 scholarships. And the recipients are Michael W. Hampton. Stephanie K. Makarowski. Congratulations. 
and Arnab K. Sarkar. Congratulations to everybody. The Isla Meadow Garden Club is a nonprofit organization dedicated to sustaining our environment and beautifying our town. Our annual plant and bake sale happens to be coming up this Saturday. And that is our major fundraiser for our scholarship. And it also enables us to make sure that every fifth grader receives a seedling for Arbor Day. This year, it's with great pleasure that we award our $1,000 scholarship to Nicholas Turnberg. Good evening. The Knights of Columbus uh, Council 4306 Holy Trinity Council is honored to provide $1,000 scholarships to deserving students. These students have demonstrated high school achievement, participated in co-curricular activities, and exemplify community service. We have two recipients. The first recipient is Elisa Burnett. And Kara Cotter. Good evening. The Tony Markowski Book Award is given to students for outstanding community service through St. Michael's Youth Group Tuesday Night Live. The following recipients not only are members of the group, but established it and helped make it what it is today. And they are Kara M. Balboni. John P. Dalton. <laughs> Nicholas S. Demarest. Matthew T. Donovan. <laughs> Matthew J. Frederick. Ryan J. Emilio. <laughs> Stephanie K. Makarowski.
Thank you, Steph. Chelsea C. McManus. Alexa H. Mellis. Good evening. My name is uh, Celeste O'Brien, uh, also Mrs. O, to all these cute little kids. Uh, I just took over as the East Long Meadows Scholarship Foundation president this year, so this is um, the first year at the, at the mic here, and I'm used to a shorter crowd, so I will pass it over to Mike Murray, <laughs> who will give the spiel. You didn't want to stay up here too I long, huh? All right, the East Longmeadow uh, Scholarship Foundation was started in 1961. Scholarships range from four to $600 and they're renewable for the four years uh, that a student is at, in college and doing well. Uh, so far, we've helped about 1,200 students with over uh, $650,000 in scholarships. Our, our scholarships are funded by donations from area businesses and members of the community, student recipients going door to door asking for donations from those same people, fundraising on the behalf of all volunteer parents and memorial donations. Uh, this year, uh, we were asked, and I'm going a little out of order here, but we were asked to help in the selection process of a new uh, scholarship sponsored by Kelly Ferdet. Um, and for that, I'd like to um, introduce Tom Serrato from Kelly Ferdet. I uh, just want to say thank you to the East Law Medal Scholarship Foundation for inviting me here tonight. The award is presented to a student pursuing an education in the field of building material sciences. Tonight's recipient is the first student ever awarded this scholarship. The $1,000 Kelly Fredette Scholarship is awarded tonight to Shannon N. Kennedy. Scholarship uh, was created last year from memorial donations received in memory of Ann Lynch, former English teacher. It's the second year of the awarding of the scholarship. This year's recipient is Andrew A. Katz. The Lewis B. Scholarship for Engineering and Applied Science was created in memory of Lewis B. by his family in 1997. Scholarships are awarded annually to deserving students preserving, <laughs> pursuing a degree in engineering or applied sciences for $1,200 each. This year's recipients are Christopher M. Casella, Julia M. Decker, and Nicholas A. Shea. Scholarship. 
not much more than that. The, uh, <laughs> the East Elemental Scholarship Foundation Awards for this year are Elisa D. Burnett, John P. Dalton, Matthew T. Donovan, and Alyssa M. Pioggia. The Howard Moffitt Scholarship <coughs> was created in 2009 in memory of Howard Moffitt, a lifelong resident of East Long Meadow. This year's recipients are James W. Bates, <laughs> Mary M. Bates, Aaron M. Dillon, Brianna N. Diricchio, Diricchio. <laughs> Elizabeth F. Lavoie, <laughs> Alyssa M. Highland, <laughs> Brianna M. Moyers, <laughs> Caitlin R. O'Reilly, Julia K. Stone, and Tia A. Westcott. Congratulations and thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Carl Perella, and I'm honored to be here to be a presenter and represent the East Long Meadow chapter of Unico National. Unico is one of the largest Italian American community service organizations in the country. Tonight, we're going to be ser searching out, and we've been searching out, excellence within our Italian American heritage, s uh, rewarding them with scholarships, four scholarships tonight, $1,000 each, that's $4,000. Tonight we have one academic scholarship, two memorial scholarships, and one athletic scholarship. But I'd like to start tonight by introducing our president, Richard Fischero, an ex excellence. Thank you, Rich, for being here. Uh, tonight, my first, uh, the first scholarship is going to, for academic achievement, John P. Dalton. Our, our next award is the Robert Hood Award, and uh, this goes to Jenny M. Taylor. The next award is in honor of my cousin Ronald Hood, and it goes to Alexa M. Craig. The Albert Trangisi Brian Piccolo Award 
is a athletic slash academic award. This year, the award goes to Catherine M. Bonavita. It's my pleasure this evening to present two awards for the business department, the first being the business department award. This award is given to students who have excelled in business coursework, are self-starters, and who have shown aptitude for various areas of the East Long Meadow High School business curriculum. Our first recipient is Katherine Novak. The next award is the Business Club Scholarship. The Business Club Award is a scholarship to graduating seniors who are goal-oriented, have demonstrated essential business qualities, including leadership, communication skills, academic achievement, and ethics. The recipients this evening are Lauren E. Porth and Alyssa J. Shepard. The English Department Award goes to students who exhibit outstanding achievement in all aspects of English, including literary interpretation, writing skills, discussion leadership, project originality, and oral presentation facility. This year, the Junior Book Award goes to Julia G. Adamo. And this year, the Grocott Scholarship Senior Award goes to Michael W. Holman. Good evening. We'd like to do something different tonight and announce together the four students receiving awards from the Family and Consumer Science Department. Each student stu stood above the rest, first mastering the subject area, then exceeding beyond our expectations in the culinary arts and child development classrooms. They exhibited a professional manner in all tasks. As they were involved with staff, their peers, preschoolers, and elders from the community. No job was too difficult or messy. They were always up for any challenge with an upbeat, optimistic spirit. We are pleased to present this year's awards to Katie Bonavita for Culinary Arts.
Sean Sullivan for Child Development. And co-recipients, Taya Kenny, Kenny and Julia Wood for the Family and Consumer Science Department Award. Fine Arts Awards for Outstanding Achievement in the Fields of Music and Art. In the field of Visual Arts, the awards go to Sarah G. Grasso and Gia N. Sarkis. <laughs> Gia could not make it tonight. And in Music, the awards go to Victoria M. Othier Petrucci and Jacob O. Nichols. He's a drummer. Look, him, look at how he walks like a drummer. The East Long Meadow Drama Club makes two awards each year. Um, this year we have the Senior Award. Uh, the award is given to a graduating senior who has made significant contribution to the Drama Club during four consecutive years of membership. And this year's recipient is Caitlin E. Johnson. Our second award is the Lilly Award, and this award is given to a student who has been consistently exemplary in his or her participation, dedication, and attitude as a member of the East Long Meadow High School Drama Club, and this year's recipient is Benjamin Gilmet. Good evening. Sawete hospites clarissimi. Bonsoir y buenas tardes. I'm pleased to present the Foreign Language Department Awards this evening. First, the Spanish Award. This award is given to a student who has achieved an outstanding record in their advanced study of Spanish. This year's recipient is Emily K. Dunlop. Next is the French Award. This award is given to a student who has achieved an outstanding record in their study of French. This year's recipient is Sarah E. Leroux. And finally, the Latin Award. This award is given to a student who has achieved an outstanding record in the study of Latin. This year's recipient is Jonathan A. Afonso.
Year after year, the ELHS math department is very fortunate to be able to consider many talented students for one of our four awards. It is highly unusual for one student to earn all four of the awards. The bar for each award is unusually high. Tonight's recipient of all four math department awards exemplifies excellence both academically and personally. I have many stories to tell you, but I'll tell you just one. The one that stands above all. How many students are capable of teaching honors pre-calculus as my substitute as a freshman? <laughs> it is with great pleasure that I present the Western Math, Math League Award, the WPI Math Meet Award, the Computer Science Award, and most importantly, the Math Department Teachers Award to Arnab Sarkar. The Rensselaer Medal is awarded to a member of the junior class who has displayed outstanding achievement in math and science. Should this medalist apply, be accepted, and enroll at RPI, she will receive a minimum scholarship of $15,000 per year, totaling 60 grand over four years. This year's recipient is Maria M. Boucher. The Bausch and Lohm Award is awarded in recognition for outstanding academic, academic achievement, good character, and superior intellectual promise in the field of science. Should this award winner apply and be accepted at the University of Rochester, he will be considered for a $7,500 per year scholarship totaling $30,000. This year's recipient is Jacob T. Wilson. Good evening, everyone. We have some social studies awards to give out. Um, the first one is the History and Social Sciences Department Award. It's a book award given to an outstanding senior who has excelled in his or her history and social science courses throughout their four years in high school. And we are pleased to present this year's award to John P. Dalton. The Academic Achievement Award is an award that is given to a senior who has achieved the highest average in history and social science courses over a four-year period in a minimum of three full semester courses. And I'm pleased to present this year's award to Arnab Sarkar. The next award is the Frederick Douglass and Susan B. Anthony Award. It's uh, presented to a junior, and they're selected on several criteria, a demonstrated commitment to understanding and addressing difficult social issues, leadership and dedication to community action, strong grades and rigorous courses taken in the humanities and social sciences, and I'm very pleased to present this year's award winner 
as Madeline M. Austin. The George Eastman Young Leaders Award uh, is given to uh, a student based on the following criteria, strong leadership experience at school and in the community, high grades and challenging courses, and extensive involvement in extracurricular activities. I'm pleased to present this year's George Eastman Young Leaders Award to Mohit M. Mali. Uh, we have some recognition awards for those students who have shown special interest, initiative, and intellectual curiosity in history and the social sciences. Uh, two juniors, uh, Kayla J. Frazier and Daniel P. Miller. We have three seniors who are getting the recognition awards. That's Matthew T. Donovan, Ryan J. Emilio, and Jack D. Moynihan. And lastly, we have the uh, Academic Achievement in Psychology Awards. Uh, it's given to a junior or senior from AP Psychology uh, who's consistently demonstrated outstanding performance throughout the course. And we have two winners. I'm pleased to give this award to Abigail W. Laughlin and Matthew R. Turnberg. Good evening. The uh, Technology Engineering Department Awards are given to two students of the Technology Engineering Department who are self-starters and consistently demonstrate a commitment to excellence and achievement in technology engineering courses. This year's recipients are Annalise A. Arnold and Marielle J. McLaughlin. Good evening. Uh, I'm here to present a few athletic awards. First, the Muriel Brown Award. It is awarded to a young lady who, along with good scholarship and leadership, has made a significant contribution to the girls' athletic program. This year's recipient is Shannon N. Kennedy. Next is the Red Stewart Award. It is awarded for excellence in scholarship, leadership, and an outstanding contribution to the athletic program at East Long Meadow High School. The recipient is Connor R. Humphreys.
Thirdly is the Marilyn Baker Scholarship. It is a financial aid scholarship given to a member of the boys and girls swim team who has demonstrated team leadership and spirit. This year's recipients are Benjamin P. Gilmet and Alyssa M. Pioja. This first uh, scholarship is uh, on behalf of the East Long Meadow High School Football Booster Club, presented to graduating seniors who participated in three years of football, are going on to higher education, and exhibited leadership in football. Uh, this year's recipients, Tyler L. Maloney and Brett S. Smith. And a special thanks to the Kroll and Chapuris family for our next scholarship, the Chip and Peter Chapuris Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is presented to graduating seniors who participated in three years of football, are going on to higher education, and exhibited leadership in football. This scholarship is made possible by the Kroll, Rice, and Chapuris families. This year's recipients, Gavin R. Butler and Chase E. Sawyer. I'm here to next present the Massachusetts Celebration of Girls and Women in Sports Day. The Massachusetts Girls and Women in Sports Award is given annually to two girls from each MIA member school in the Commonwealth. East Long Meadow High School's recipients are student athletes who exemplify the qualities of commitment, perseverance, and achievement on and off the field. These young ladies have and continue to serve as role models for girls and women striving for excellence through participation in sports. They are examples of humility and victory and graciousness in defeat. They have displayed high integrity even when social pressure has persisted. They have represented their family and school honorably and compassionately in the sports arena and community. I am honored to present this award to Julia Decker and Shannon Kennedy. East Long Meadow Sports .com is a uh, website that covers youth and high school sports in East Long Meadow. We're very lucky to have some students that write for the website. East Long Meadow Sports .com scholarship uh, rewards uh, a couple of students this year um, for the enthusiastic contributions in writing for the website. Two winners this year, um, Tom Cronin and Connor Richter. The Virginia Schindler Citation is awarded to two seniors for citizenship through services in memory of Mrs. Schindler, spouse of a former East Long Meadow High School principal. This year's recipients are Katie Bonavita and Ben Gilmet.
He has utilized his talent with people, his compassion for the environment, and academic talents to lead the club to advocate for the environment, inspire others. 2015 Environmental Club Award goes to Arnab Sakar. Hello. I am honored to be here to present the award for our GSA club. The student recipient is an amazing young man who has helped found the current ELHS GSA and has served as its president for the last three years. He has made ELHS a safer, more inclusive place for all students through his hard work and dedication to the GSA. I am so pleased to present this year's inaugural award to Joseph Pamonti. <laughs> The East Longmeadow High School Key Club is a service organization affiliated with Kiwanis International, and it is the largest student organization in the world. I'm really proud of the two recipients here for the work that they did together as a great team. They helped each other, they helped me, and they helped an awful lot of people in need. Congratulations to Matthew Donovan, President, and Katie Bonavita, Vice President. Last but not least, um, this is the Student Council uh, Scholarship awarded for dedication and service on the Student Council. Uh, this young woman has suffered the brunt of many of my tirades, as well as helping me with her co-president, Meg Byrne, um, run the day-to-day -day operations of the Student Council, which you'd be surprised how much we actually do. Uh, this uh, is awarded to Jillian Morosino. Before we let you go for tonight, can we give one big round of applause for all our recipients? give one big round of applause also for all the people who made this possible and that it means our contributors for tonight and all the scholarships could you give them applause please <laughs> two last quick things you know a lot of planning goes into tonight you would not believe it's very much a big event and there's one person that makes it all possible she is my right hand woman miss terry hellier <laughs> Thank you for your attendance. Refreshments are served outside. We'll hope you enjoy them. They're from our culinary arts class. Thank you.